Why do you need to niche down? As a coach or an online entrepreneur, it is very important that you niche down and you narrow down your target audience. But why? I'm Karma. I help coaches and online entrepreneurs get clients consistently without the social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. I make weekly videos about online marketing, coaching, and entrepreneurship. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the updates on my latest videos. In today's video, I want to share with you what a niche is and why you need a niche when you start promoting your business. What is a niche? A niche is a specific solution for a specific person. I'm sure you heard people say, oh, market is saturated. Everybody is selling that. Everybody is doing that. Um, everybody is starting a coaching business. This is because of their lack of marketing knowledge. Starting out, if you want to reach your target audience, you need to reach a well-defined, smaller audience. And this is why we need to solve a specific problem for a specific person. As a small business owner, when you are promoting your business, you need to know what exactly your target audience wants. Let's say you're a fitness coach. Well, fitness is an industry. Yes, everybody needs fitness, but there is no way of marketing it to everybody because everybody's priorities are different and everybody's interests are different. So let's say you narrowed it down to a yoga coach, which is a category. When I ask coaches who their target audience is, I get answers like females in between 22 to 55. Now, this is a very wide audience. There is no way to speak to a 25-year-old same way as a 55-year-old. A 25-year-old's lifestyle is completely different than a 55-year-old. And their interests are different. Even interests of 25-year-olds are different depending on who they are. And if you don't know these things, how are you going to create a content strategy? In order to have an effective content strategy, you need to know the problems of your audience. You need to know why they're suffering from this. You need to know their objections, their false beliefs, their mistakes they're making, and the misconceptions they may have. All of these matter when you're creating content because this is how you're gonna be able to attract your ideal client, attract your target audience so that they can become your clients. You also need to know what type of people are looking for your solution. You need to go to where they are. And in order to go to where they are, you need to know what their interests are, what their intent in solving this problem or how engaged are they depending on the intent of your audience the conversion rate will be different what do i mean by that let's go back to the yoga coach example now tell me which of these two would be more effective three yoga poses or three quick yoga poses to relieve back pain in an office for office workers, whatever. So which one do you think would be more effective as a content strategy? If you put the first piece of content, which is three yoga poses in front of an audience of females in between 25 years old to 55 years old, you know, I'm sure some will like it, some will engage, but it won't make too much of an impact. But if you put three quick yoga poses to reduce back pain for office workers in front of the same audience, I am sure the ones who work at an office, the ones who also have back pain, and the ones that don't have much time are going to be very engaged with this piece of content. So that's why the second piece of content would be a lot more effective than the first one. As a lead, I'll be more inclined to 
become your client if I know what exactly you're going to give me and what results I will get out of your program or out of your services. So when I see your content, three quick yoga poses to reduce back pain for office workers, I know your niche now. I know you are talking about back pain and this is what I'm interested in because I have back pain problems. Otherwise, there are a bunch of different yoga coaches, right? And that's what people are talking about when they say market is saturated. Now that you niche down and you're talking to females and you're helping females who work in an office reduce back pain without spending a lot of time with workouts, you know exactly how to speak with them and you know exactly how to engage them. By knowing what an office life is like, when you know and talk about what office life is like or what um, not having that much time to work out is like, you're not only giving them value with the other type of content, but you're also building relationships by knowing exactly how their life is. And by relationship building and giving valuable quality content to them, that builds trust and that builds authority. And think about how difficult it would be to find your content if I made a search for yoga poses versus if I made a search for yoga poses to reduce back pain for office workers. And a person is more likely to convert if they are looking for a specific problem, a specific solution, and they become a lead versus someone becoming a lead just because you got some cool yoga poses. To sum it up about why we need to niche down and have a narrow target audience, is number one, that it makes it easier for us to be found online. Number two, it shows expertise and builds authority. Number three, the more intentional your audience, higher the conversion rate. And number four, you'll get warm leads organically. Thank you for staying till the end and let me know if you have any questions. Also let me know in the comments, what is your niche?